so many pop culture references to Area 51. 13 Action News anchor Dana Roselli has more on some well-known movies that weave the mysterious place into its storyline. The mystery surrounding Area 51 makes everyone wonder what happens at this highly classified facility. It sounds like a good TV show or a good movie, right? Well, film critic Josh Feld joins us to talk about some of the most popular references and one of the huge ones, X-Files, which you're displaying on your shirt here. Indeed, I've got my Dana Scully shirt here. Got a little UFO she wants to believe. And I was a huge X-Files fan. That might have been my first uh, learning about Area 51. They were talking all about alien conspiracies for multiple seasons on the X-Files. Always came up. And so popular. People it loved was. It. Yeah, it was a huge show. There was a revival a couple years ago. And yeah, I was a big fan of it as well. All right, what about Independence Day? The huge movie and then Independence Day Resurgence, both referencing uh, Area 51 as well. Yeah, and that might be where a lot of people first heard about Area 51 or the idea of this secret government facility where alien artifacts are being kept in the original Area 51 when aliens are attacking the planet. We have to go find uh, artifacts from the Roswell crash and uh, an alien corpse and things like that. They're all being held in this secret government facility. It might be in the second one where they actually say the words Area 51, but even if you just kind of see that facility, you know what they're talking about. And I think that's what we get in a lot of pop culture references. All right, what about Zero Dark Thirty? More of a serious movie. Yeah, a very serious uh, Oscar winning film. And uh, it's interesting to see even in a movie like that, that's a true story. It's about uh, the uh, uh, capturing Osama bin Laden. And it still, you have Area 51 show up on the screen and people know, oh, this is going to be a secret facility. Shows it a little more like what it probably really is as a military base where there are holding weapons that maybe the public doesn't know about. Here it's these kind of stealth helicopters that they use on the mission. Uh, but yeah, just Washington seeing that on screen, people know, oh, that's something secret. <laughs> right. And then Paul, this is a comedy, and it, Seth Rogen that voices, is the voice of an alien, right? Kind of a... Uh, low-key but kind of crazy yeah, alien. Yeah, he's kind of a stoner alien. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this movie has characters who are maybe closest to the people who like Area 51 memes. <laughs> Simon Pegg and Nick Frost play these comic book nerds on the way back from a convention and they drive up the extraterrestrial highway right by Area 51 and pick up this uh, escaped alien voiced by Seth Rogen on the side of the road and of course the government is after them, but it's a very lighthearted take on the whole idea uh, of Area 51 and brings it even more into the popular <laughs> consciousness. Yeah, it looks like a good one. And then a quick mention here, an animated movie, so something for the kids. Yeah, Disney's <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. There's just a brief mention. We have aliens who actually call Earth Area 51, but showing that even in a kid's movie, you can just mention that quickly and parents will kind of knowingly laugh and understand what we're talking about because it's everywhere. It's just an easy thing to reference in a film. It sure is. All right, well, hopefully everyone will be safe and have fun. On this weekend, we might see more movies and TV shows I come out. I think we of it. will. All right, thanks, Josh. Back to you guys.